Assalam wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Wasia Mariam from Standard 5. It is a sheer delight for me to be present here in today's annual sports event and make a speech in front of the honorable guests, today's sports participants and others. Today, I would like to talk about etiquette in sports. Sport is a great form of entertainment and refreshment. It helps the participants to relieve their stress and boredom through excitement and fun. And that's why people love sports even though it takes energy. But sometimes it is a cause of jealousy, aggressive rivalry, and even violence. Even close friends become enemies in sports. We can often see conflicts, furious objections, violent aggression, fights, and repulsion. We can see extreme craze to win the game or be the champion. But this should not be the way sport should happen. A real sport is a sport that is attended by men of sportsmanship. Otherwise, the whole event turns into a battleground. Sport should activate brotherhood, not enmity. Sportsmanship is the right attitude in any kind of sports. It means fair, generous, and polite behavior when playing a game. It means showing compassion to someone who lost the game, even if he's the opposition. It means following the rules of the game without objections. It means accepting any result after a game without too much grumbling. It means not disrespecting any player, even the opposition. A person's sportsmanship shows his strength and compatibility with sports. A wrong attitude reflects someone's weakness and incompatibility with sports. Hence, let us correct our attitude towards sports if we are still thinking in the wrong way about it. Let's take some examples of sportsmanship from great players. Lionel Messi is considered one of the humblest players on the earth. He barely gets into conflict with players on the ground. Cristiano Ronaldo always shows gratitude to people who helped him to come up to his present level. The Muslim players are particularly ahead in this case. Uh, a rising Egyptian star, footballer Mohamed Salah, has shown unselfish play during a match on many occasions. Legend MMA fighter Khabib always shows mercy to his opponents in every event of brutal fight. One of the greatest German footballers, Mesut Ozil, has earned admiration from his teammates for his decent nature. And there are more examples like these. We should take lessons from these examples. Islam encourages modesty and decency everywhere, even in sports. Our Prophet Muhammad wasallam liked to see his companions in sports activities. So, sports is an encouraged recreation. But let us not ruin its pleasure by being like a pack of dogs that hustle with each other for a single piece of meat. Let us add to its enjoyment by being humble, decent, kind, and compassionate. Let us be that kind of person. With this appeal, I here end my speech. Thank you all for listening. Assalamu alaikum.